whether you get the payload there in time. It's just about whether you get the payload there or not. Yeah, so this isn't stopwatch. This is, like you said, based off of finishing the map. If mm -hmm. you don't finish the map, it comes down to distance, and that will decide who wins on that map in particular. Um, but yeah, the new competitive mode, that's the format we're going through through the entire way, I believe, of the qualifiers. However, coming to the main event, there is still potential for rules to be changed uh, according to the feedback from the community and the players. So let's have a look what the defensive setup is. It is going to be fairly standard from them. Mercy, Reinhardt in there from PKR and Weber. So that's going to be the defensive line. Of course, there's going to be a Reaper in there with a Lucio, a Farah, and a Hog. Hog becoming very, very popular of late. Yeah, he's got the, the one-shot mechanic that... Um well, McCree had basically. It wasn't one yeah. shot. It was a fan of the hammer. Then a you know maybe a roll and a fan of the hammer again. But it's got similar uh, similar opportunities. And when you run a Roadhog behind a Winston, sorry, behind a Reinhardt, you have that shield. You're not going to take damage. You're not going to feed ultimate to the other team. And you get some quick picks if you can potentially pull it off. But coin flippers are switching up themselves. They're going for the Zarya. They're going for the Reinhardt to pair in with that. So looking to actually absorb some damage to the Zarya to actually allow them to push through. And they're running Kiki here on the high ground with the Fera paired up with uh, pair two if he can get in the right positions. Been watching a lot of Tivik going up and around the side there, or Tivik, I should say, actually. We uh, gotta get the pronunciation correct on his name, but uh, that was exactly the far move he did. You gotta keep him close around the hotel, just in case there's any Widowmakers looking to pop you off. There's no, of, of course, on the opposite team. So jumping around the side there, trying to work down, but that Mercy getting very close, actually, just above them, and that's because a Reaper is there, and that is first blood, effectively, for the defensive team. Never thought I'd really ever see a Reaper take a fair down 1v1 like yeah. that. I mean, he should always be in the high ground, and, and Pharaoh's really good against Reaper, and he's super plain smart. So, if you guys are just learning on how to play a little bit and you're getting into competitive, once you pick up a couple of kills, you don't want to let the rest of the team escape. You want to rush them down, want the help of your Lucio to speed amp you through, pick up those kills, get some old percent on your side, and then really punish them on spawn timers, because you kind of separate um, and just join them all spawning back up together. But here we go, ultimates are coming online. Aquarion Farah does have the barrage. Weaver does have his Earth Shatter, which just went off. And now you're trying to see Aquarion coming from the side to actually pull up some kills. And there he's, he's looking for the Mercy. That Weaver's oh. already picked up quite a few kills himself, and that is going to be a wipe. Yeah, that wasn't pretty. <laughs> that wasn't pretty at all. Uh, the winner of this game will be going through to face Anox. So Anox are going to be sat ready and waiting for these. You obviously know the Anox team. Very much uh, full of the Quake guys, the ex-Quake guys in and around that. We'll see how they fare against them, but at the moment, this is looking very good for the defensive side already. They've got two minutes to hold this point, and honestly, it's looking like it's going to stay that way, because as of yet, the attacking team yet to really make a dent on the control point. Yeah, I mean, they do use the sand barrier here, but they've already lost their mercy, so you're not really going to accomplish too much off the back of it. Luckily, uh, Keek does actually pick up two kills with his barrage, and looking for that third onto the Reinhardt. So a decent start here so far. With PKR down, they don't have a revive on the defending side, which means they do have the potential to take this point. Yeah, I feel like I gave them commentator's curse. <laughs> they, were, they were holding strong, and then immediately Wattid comes in, gets himself a double with the tactical visor, and it is all cleanup duty. So object is going to be underway, barring anything spectacular, which I don't believe is going to come through here. You can see, obviously, Malak holding onto that ulti Graviton search for a long time so control point captured let's see how they go with the payload my questions for you suba and particularly how are they going to defend this because now that they have the entire team coming back up the query is going to be joining them in just a few seconds they're able to fight in this area they're not actually giving this one up for free which you see a lot of teams a lot of the uh, you know the top tier teams when they're on attack here they take the payload then they rush straight forward to hold them back and spawn but queen flippers hasn't done that which is allowed now suba to get set up and get in the position they want to. As long as PKR can stay alive with his revive, then they should have a solid hold here. Well, they're getting a little bit Ooh, of okay. flanking, so Taku getting around there, that's actually backfired on them, yep. because the flank backfired, it puts them immediately in a 5v6 situation, which gives them quick advantage to try and push around that corner. Of course, they're they going to shove this. stick with the payload, trying to shove it as much as they can. They are working that shield down. There we go. That's going to be the Reinhardt shield drop. They're going to get the Graviton Surge. It completely whiffed, though. It didn't catch anybody in that ulti, and that's a big, long charge on the ulti. There's the Resurrect coming through, but I don't think it's going to help them any at all. You can see the soldier. He has his eye He's trained on that far up, should get picked down in a minute. Went with a double reload after using about two shots there. Tactical uh, visor used, and he should just keep them away. I think it's going to be the first point caught out, no problem. Uh, uh, that was a major mistake by coin flippers, and yet they still mm. kind of somehow won off the back of that because they charged through. And like you said, the Graviton Surge missed, but they didn't catch out PKR, which is the big key. That Earth Shatter is going to be missing. Unfortunately, uh, Janawan's not going to connect, and the charge will land, though. 
and will take at least one man down with him, who which eventually should be picked up. But they're still skirmishing over this point. It hasn't been captured just yet. Yeah, the Reinhardt of all people delaying them putting around that point. Lucio just going to try and jump around as much as he can. Picked off eventually. That's going to be the payload reaching the final phase. So, five minutes to get this payload in and around the corner. There is a good choke point, but honestly, at the start, I felt like it was going to be easy for Isuba. They seem to have this one in the bag, but coin flippers, since they finally got that yeah. capture point at the start, they've just not really slowed down, and that's down to Taku obviously making that big mistake on the Reaper. Switched across to Soldier, now switched across to Widowmaker. They don't feel comfortable, obviously, on what they can hold on. Yeah, the snowball effect is real, and I bet you all their playing competitive are feeling it as well. Oh, the charge! Oh, no, oh, he he, no, no, he got it, so but close. he died in his hands because of the fair barrage. So it works out for him in the end. He's still towards the backside, takes on Azaria. They have no revive left available here, and Weaver, basically by himself, is going to be able to pick up these kills and hold them back. And manages to pick off two more as well, but that payload's still being contested. Just one man hanging around there. Far is trying to cause as much problems, and he picks off the Widowmaker on the side there. Taku does go down. PKR, as you mentioned, Neither of them had a revive at the time, but now we have Sound Barrier and Resurrect available for the defensive team. So probably going to be a tough push here if they're going to try it. Of course, we do look around the ultis. We do have Barrage ready and waiting to go. Let's see, because this far has been doing some good work so far. Widow, you got to hit Tarki. You got to hit these shots. You even have your Infrasight available. He's going to be able to use it now, but the Graviton Surge came through, pulled them all together, and the oh. hook comes in. That might have just saved his entire team because the Barrage was there and ready. Actually, no, it wasn't there and ready. I'm making a mistake. It was there and ready. It was. I'm looking at the wrong pair. It totally was there. Yeah, this is working out well. <laughs> it's a great attack. And, well, despite the fact, I think they focused a little too much on that far pushing around the side because, as we can see, tactical visor ready and waiting. Payload's going to push on through. And that is going to be round one completed by the coin flippers in a pretty decent time. But as we mentioned, times don't really matter. It's all about can you complete the map and King's Row has been completed by coin yep. flippers despite the really good hold from Isuba they held for about three or four minutes at the start uh, but once it fell it was just non-stop they just kept on pushing I felt they could have held it there they had they had the sound barrier they had the resurrect they had just about everything ready and waiting to go yeah and now Isuba going to be on the attack even though they're on the blue side they're still going to be attacking here that's uh, with the new update of the new competitive mode plus spectating client um, just if you guys are wondering but yeah, so Isupa, a little bit of snowball went against them. I didn't agree necessarily with Tarku playing the Widowmaker there at the end. He didn't accomplish much, and he used his Infrasight too late. He used it way too late, because he could have saw them coming in and picked off Kick before he actually had a chance to really get any kills and even get around towards the back. Luckily, that hook came through and saved him a little bit of time, but like you just said, time is not going to matter here. So, to kind of take stock of things, if Isupa do finish, it'll be a tie. Both teams get one point each. The only way we'll go to a King of the Hill tiebreaker is if it's tied after the series. Well, we'll see how it works out for them. Of course, not to be confused, Blue is attacking this time. It is the, yeah. the yeah, change. Yeah. yeah, we're going to enjoy that as casters, I think. Yeah, I know. It, I, it threw me off, and I was like, wait, that should be...
that available, which can easily turn the tide of a fight for you, and there's not really too much up off the back of that, except to query with his barrage. But Tark, who's about to have his Death Blossom available, and I think they're looking for that push in. Uh, if Dafsa can maybe get his Graviton Surge online, this is going to be a relatively easy take, but Tarku, he's got behind him. This is where it gets dangerous. Here comes the flank. Death Blossom ready to go. Die, die, die. Hits a match with Barrage. Beautifully executed. Gets themselves, what, four kills there? Think almost the team wipe barring just the one single fat man. But he's all the way back at spawn, so he must have died at the start. It was a team ace. Beautifully, beautifully done. See, I, okay, I like that they use the ultimates to pick up the kills, but I don't agree with Akiri to actually use his barrage there, because you had Tarku pick up three kills. He killed the yeah, Mercy. So it's like, Mercy's dead. dead. There's no revive. You don't need to throw any more ultimates that you don't necessarily need to. And now he's not going to be paired with Daphs to pull off the Graviton Surge barrage combo. So... If you look at the long run, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of nitpicking, and I probably shouldn't do that. But if you're playing against one of the top teams, which will be happening later on today or tomorrow, you can't really let Oof. those mistakes go. When you can't let those mistakes happen either. This Farah is doing work. Oh, he missed the easy shot, actually. He landed the two hard shots and then missed the mid-air easy shot. Either way, Graviton Surge goes down. There goes the Rockets. That's going to be the damage done. And at the moment, it looks like it's going to be a quick and easy on King's Row for both teams. Of course, this doesn't mean... Either team's going to win. It's not times. It is all about completing the map. And it's looking like it's very much going to be possible here by the attacking team. But they've been held for now. Mm -hmm. You can see Watch Duka on the oh. Lucio here. <laughs> Has got Soundbar. He just managed to pick one off. He booped him off. Yeah. He killed Mala there somehow. And that actually is... Uh, well, it's not amazing for them because they're not going to attack off the back of that. But... It's, it's a nice little BM kill for him, It's the fact that he managed to get out. Ordinarily, you'd see them just suicide, just jump yeah. off the edge there, just so they can That's respawn back with the team. But instead, he's literally got a kill and backed out. Nicely done. Okay, so they do have the Barrage. They do have the Revive. They don't have much to combo yet, but Weebler, or Weebler, sorry, is at 90% of his Earth Shatter. He's going to hit one swing off or just wait a couple of seconds, and I'll have it available. So if now, Coin Flippers group up. They're going to be in a world of pain. They have to be careful. They have to spread out. They have no real high guard advantage because Kiki keeps dying in that 1v1 battle up against Aquiri. Well, look at this. Barrage ready and waiting to go. Ooh. Tark's got it ready to go as well. That's going to be the kill on the Mercy. There's going to be the Soldier 76 going down. Graviton Surge was used defensively, but it's not really working out. That's going to be a mid-air shot. This far are doing some serious work here, Query, and that may well be game. They're going to keep one last man away. The Fat Man comes in to try and keep them off. The Roadhog not able to hold them back, and that will be the map going even between the two teams, these two bang coin flippers both ending it. Now, if we were stick sticking on times, actually, I think times were pretty close as well because they, they got delayed a little bit there uh, where coin flippers were slow to capture out the initial point, but eventually managed to get in there. We're back in to the...